Me kumbio ni gembo lele ini. We now talk to Indi, the fashion designer. Indi, uh, your earliest inspiration was your mother, who sewed very well and dolled you up, I'm told. And this photograph of Marilyn Monroe. Take us there. Yeah. So that was a school trip um, out of the country, and I saw this magazine, and she was in this really like fancy maxi sequin, shiny, shiny. And then I was very young though. How old about were you? Probably thirteen. It's like. Yeah, and then I thought like, okay, I really want to make this dress for myself, like for something. So then the did you have her shape? Did you have her shape? Uh, well, not really, but she's curvy. <laughs> she was, yeah. So I think I am a little fuller, bigger, but yeah. So that's I thought at that time. At that to... time, I thought, yeah. So then I wanted to like make it by myself. So I wanted to learn how to do it, and I knew it's been in the family. My grandma, my mom, they used to stitch for everyone in the family. Um, I think my mom. I lost my mom when I was ten. Uh, up until then, I don't think I ever bought anything to wear. So she made everything for us. So yeah. So you have done your education in. At the Middle Six University in Hertfordshire, yeah. and then your first collection was at the London Graduate Fashion Week. What was that yeah. like? The first that was public showing. Yeah, that was the graduate collection. So um, they come and pick out like from like about ten universities. They would pick. Why were you chosen? I think it was just because of the concept that I worked on. I worked on black and white, two faced, in and like yin yang kind of a concept. Everything in black, everything in white. Two sides of life, sadness, happiness, kind of like it wow. reflects everything. Yes. So I guess they really like the concept and the inter interpretation on garments. So it, I, it was not the main show; it was a student showcase. So what was it, what was your reaction like? I mean, here your first public international show. Yeah, it was very challenging because I, I I fall into the category of international students. Yes. Where when it comes to fashion, they're very very um, selective. Selective. Special and biased, you of can course, say, for the course. British students. Yes. So it was a little hard, but um, I think I had like a, a very good support from uh, my um, teachers and the lecturers and all of them. They were very, very interested in the way that I sort of pick something and then create something out of it. I guess being innovative. Yeah. There was Premier Vision, which was the Paris Fabric Show. What was that experience? Like? Yeah, so that was actually a chance again. So they picked me with another five students out of our batch. Do you speak French? Or? Absolutely In not. The Golan, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so yeah. Well, when we, I, it's a massive show, so you get to learn a lot of things. I think that kind of like opened my whole perspective towards the fashion world. Uh, that's where you sort of manufacture all the fabrics and where you find all the suppliers, where all these beautiful things come to life. It starts you know? there. All this starts with a piece of fabric. Yeah. So then was born the brand Indi. Yes. The obvious name, obviously. Yeah. Well, my full name is Indi Vari. Indi Vari, yes. Yeah. Right. At school, you were called Indi. Yeah. So no one, I don't think many know me as Indi Vari. I did talk to you. Yeah. I Google it and then I saw this is Indi Vari. Yeah. Pa. Everyone thinks like it's Indi. Uh, but I guess my um, my father thinks um, I'm very lucky, and my name is very lucky. So being superstitious there, I guess. Are you a superstitious person? Mm, Cats, not Friday the thirteenth. Friday stuff. the thirteenth. I have a reason. I, I lost my mom on oh. that day. Okay. So yeah. There are two this year, I think. Okay. <laughs> In 2013 came the L'Oréal Melbourne Fashion Week, and yes. there again you were there with your collection. Different country, different audiences. What were the expectations there? Um, well, I just went to like uh, experience because I have been in Sri Lanka for a little while and I haven't been out with my work. Um, after I came from London, it was just uh, um, I worked with Lini Aqua and all of that and I started my label. I just wanted to step out and see how it is. Um, it, it was great and it's a different audience to the UK. Um, how different is that audience? I guess their taste. They are more. Uh, they are more into, uh, like, say, exaggerated things. Really? Or, yeah. Um, uh, and more. In at the same time, it needs to be wearable for them. 
UK you can be like you know in in US UK that MC world is just like world. you know it's just it's you know it blows your mind world. you know about it they they just don't care in the tell me what is your you as a woman you as a designer for women what is your ideology of a woman um well i mean i can't put it to like um, i can't narrow it down mm. sophisticated woman who doesn't think everything under the sun needs to be on an agreement mm-hmm. um and you just do it where it's needed kind of you know so she's practical yeah more realistic i would say she doesn't and, go over the top yeah and comfortable in your whatever the attire um yet look very sophisticated and No, for an example. Do you always wear your own clothes or do you wear No, I actually I I try to, but I do um, support a lot of uh, local designers and um, I try to wear other people's stuff as well. Uh but mainly like Sri Lankan stuff. Yeah. You made the statement that uh, the Sri Lankan fashion or fashion industry is not connected with international standards. Yeah, well we have Okay, wait, we have a lot of uh, shows happening. um Colombo Fashion Week which gave me the platform to launch my label I'm very grateful uh but what we are lacking here is like the connection to take our stuff out you know um so mainly if i put in um how do i say say even the buyers we don't get international buyers they don't see what we do there's a lot of talent out there so what do we lack that we haven't hit it big there I guess the See, networking. Stuff is good. Some of uh, some of our stuff is really good. Yeah, I think the networking, or maybe like you know the awareness out there for our talent, so they do not think it's necessary to go and see what we are producing. So what do we? What does the Sri Lankan industry need to do to be known outside to those foreign buyers? In your opinion. I think like even to start with a show, you know, maybe just just get the proper buyers and do the, uh, the CFW has done that or is doing that in the past few years. Yeah, it has got it has improved. Um uh, but I guess it's not enough. Like so I have been showing there for 6 years now. I took one year break, but it's not like internationally like I think the last year, year before, um I was approached um so imagine uh, there are people so there are people who been showcasing for consecutive 13th year like which is the age of colombo fashion week uh they have not got out i guess so on that note of hope for sri lanka's uh, fashion industry we big sequence why to a close we next meet uh, in the uh in the very uh as a teacher a uh, one who teaches differently abled children and the students at the University of Moratua catch you soon